Welcome to the Fellowship for Perpetual Growth newsletter for August 2018. The last two months have been very hectic taking care of the animals, preparing land for planting and preparing land for Hurricane Lane. Let's talk about the animals. First, the dogs. Rainbow Friends Animal Sanctuary held a free spay neuter clinic in Cal on August 18th. We took the two lava flow puppies, Winnie and Lion, to the event. They spayed Winnie and neutered Lion. Thank you to Rainbow Friends for offering a free spay neuter clinic. For the pigs, one of the pigs, Blue, was having trouble using its hind legs. Dr. Harvard dewormed all four piglets against hookworm. We were seeing some improvement in Blue in the course of the following week, but then we found it one morning dead with bite marks on its side. It seems the other pigs may have killed the pig and were starting to eat it. Since the pigs were wild, we don't know their nutrition history. So as a precaution, we switched their feed to growers feed mixed with soy milk replacer. The remaining pigs are doing much better now. With thanks to the donors, we have purchased fencing for the chickens. We now have the hens in the chicken house with the roosters patrolling the pasture. The sheep have mowed the pasture so the roosters can pick out the seeds the sheep have left behind. And while we're talking about the sheep, Two of the sheep, Sarah and Ruth, were suffering from what seemed like a selenium deficiency. Hawaii Island Humane Society, who helped rescue the sheep from the lava flow, couldn't locate the owners at the time of the rescue. Like with the wild pigs, we do not know what they ate prior to the lava flow emergency, or while they were stuck on an island of earth surrounded by lava. Despite intravenous saline solution, the wormer, hand-feeding mineral salts, and softened alfalfa pellets, these two sheep still passed away. The remaining two sheep, Caleb and Eve, are doing well and are continuing to get alfalfa pellets with sheep-specific mineral supplements, which include selenium, to augment the grazing. For the donkeys, Flo is getting quite large. We expect her to give birth in the autumn, so we are looking to build a nursery to provide a safe space where Flo can tend to the newborn foal and Eddie is doing fine as well. Now to the plants. Thank you to the donors who provided us with plants and cuttings. We have received a variety of banana plants, lilikoi, which is passion fruit, peanut grass, spearmint, tarragon, spinach, and chayote, among others. If you'd like to bring us plants that can grow in zones 10 and 11, please contact FPG Sanctuary at 808 968 7161 or email us at donations at fpgsanctuary.org. Congratulations! Ken Anderson and Rob Cole both received their permaculture design certificates. For about 18 months they studied permaculture best practices with the Permaculture Research Institute of Australia, led by Jeff Lawton. With this certification, FPG Sanctuary will be able to provide permaculture design consulting primarily to our Hawaiian neighbours. If you would like to create your own food forest, please contact FBG Sanctuary at 808-968-7161 or email us at info at fpgsanctuary.org and you'll be on your way to eating your own food. Fundraising. FBG Sanctuary ran a donation table at two stores in Hilo in August. Both Safeway and Dell's Farm Supply permitted us to reach out to the community gain name recognition, and let the people know about the work we are doing. On to Hurricane Lane. In preparation for Hurricane Lane, FPG Sanctuary secured the animal shelters and greenhouses. They fed surprisingly well given that nearly 47 inches or 1.2 meters of rain fell in just a three-day period. The hurricane was downgraded to a tropical storm which stalled over Maui and Hawaii counties for three days. Our driveway got washed out and even a week later we are trying to repair the driveway. If you know of any able-bodied people who can help to shovel the washed up gravel back onto the driveway, please have them contact FPG Sanctuary at 808-968-7161 or email us at info at fpgsanctuary.org. Thank you. Thank you to all the donors who have provided both monetary and gift donations. We truly appreciate your support. A special thanks goes to Kenny who donated PVC piping to help build a watering system for the animals. If you would like to contribute time, money, building materials, or plant and animal care products, please contact FBG Sanctuary at 
968-968-7161 or email us at info at org. And as always, spiral upwards. <laughs>